Hi there, in this short video we're going to look at OS Forensics. Make sure that you've got the right version of OS Forensics installed. Uh, you can tell that, I'm just going to move myself over here, by going to About, and if you see that it's that build, so uh, version 3.2 build 1003, the free version, then you've installed the correct version, and it's available on the college network. Um, ask your lecturer if you're not sure if you've got the right version. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up a case. And what a case is, is a space that allows you to add multiple devices that you've captured or acquired and um, you've got the image for or the evidence file. So we're going to create an, a case. Uh, the case that I'm going to look at tonight is uh, the case of the video. Missing video. Okay, and you put your name as the investigator. Uh, organization can be left blank unless you're specifically working for a company as part of your uh, assessment scenario, then you'd put that company name in there. Contact details not required. Uh, the local time zone is important because that's the time zone that the files will be displayed in, in the timeline. And then you've got a choice of either live acquisition, so if you're working on the machine directly, or if you're investigating disks from another machine. So for certainly the level five, you're going to be investigating disks from, from another machine. It's rare in the college courses that you're going to be doing a live acquisition. And our case folders, we can put into a custom location. So I'm just going to go uh, for a folder on my desktop that I'm just going to say um, OSF. Okay, just for this particular example. And hit OK. So once you've got your case, added or you've created the, your new case then it will show up in the manage case section or the select case section now you might have multiple cases on the go at the same time so the current case that you're working on is marked with a tick and as long as there's a green tick to the left of the case that you want to be adding evidence to then you're going to be fine if you need to switch the case just click on load case select the right file or select the right case and then your green tick should be in the right place the rest of the window, we're going to have a quick tour of. Uh, this is where we can add attachments, notes, devices, and we can generate reports. So we should have, if we go to add device, the ability to add an image file. And the image file will be hopefully located uh, on your either your C drive, if you're doing this in college, or a network drive of some sort. And I've done all the hard work. Uh, for this already. So I've created my two images for the level five assessment. I'm just going to add one as an example. Okay. And you can see that it comes up here. Now the way to test that it's uh, a, a valid device is if you right click and click on open, as long as you get a little preview of the, uh, the files, then you're good. If you get an error 50, it means that your file is corrupted in some way and you might need to re-image it using FTK Imager. But this looks okay. Um, and in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what you can do with images like this.